Hey guys, this is Nathan. Welcome to Punter's Pre-Mortem. Race 8 over the 1800 meters, my number 4, 10, and 5. 4 Sweet Fire looks to profile well for this. To the lead, Jason is giving chase on the outside. Sweet Fire in front of Jason. It's swishing the tail, Sweet Fire, but it'll scramble in from Jason. Ah, quite a town. Good to see you again, buddy. The Triple X Special this weekend comes up at race 8 at Caulfield, number 5, Barbed. A drop of rain on the track at Caulfield, and his horse doesn't want to be a racehorse, but he gets a good track. This is his guy's go on Saturday, 1,200 metres, good track. He's beaten a horse named Ball of Muscle who's going to go on to win a Group 1 this season. Barrier 2 is a great opportunity for him to just get close to the lead, pull out in the straight, run past him at 9.50, I'm going to be getting on on a Saturday. The cheeky, sneaky, each way better the weekend comes up at race 7 at Rose Hill, number 6, Bold Circle. Love the way this horse returned as a gelding last start, hit the line nice for a third. His two wins have come second up. His three-year-old form has been around the group enlisted level, and this is not. This is a benchmark 75 on Saturday. The snip snip sorted him out. $13 is the wrong price, and I'm going to be getting on on Saturday. The first leg of the quaddy race five. My numbers are one, six, and four. One Vancouver. Well, what do you say about this guy? He's the best horse in the race. The question is the 60 kilos and how uh, how fit he's going to be first up. But I think he is better than these, and I think he can carry the 60 kilos and win on Saturday. Red Seal's the horse that everyone sort of forgot about as a two-year-old. He, he won at Warwick Farm and then was placed in the kindergarten and sort of went off the scene. I'm not sure if it was an injury or he just trained off. We see it every spring. We always forget about the horses that have been racing and winning and rock hard fit. Japanese is this horse, and he can win on Saturday, so it goes in as well. Race six over the 1100 meters, my numbers are two, seven, and eight. Two, Prince Famous, he's gonna come up short on Saturday, but I think he should be. He progressed to a listed class race last preparation, and this is a benchmark 75. He can win on Saturday, and he deserves to be a $3 favorite, and he's going in the top selection. Seven, Wanderers, I got tired of reading all the articles that tell me how unlucky this horse was. I was a bit concerned that he didn't savage the line like a horse that was unlucky, but he has got three-year-old form around rich enough, and if he was in this race, he'd be winning it, so he goes in as well. Eight, Pro Consul. According to the odds, has no chance, but he does do his best work second up. And back to a drier surface, I think he can improve. And at $21, I think he can uh, add some chunk to this quality town. Race seven over the 1350, my numbers are six, three, two, and eight. Six, Bold Circle, ready to get us the chocolates on Saturday. Num, num, gonna be enjoying it. Quality town later. Three, start wondering, the visitor from New Zealand. Has been in racing in better class of races. Does has his fair share of weight, but with Hugh Bowman, I think can get the right run and win. Two, Feral Lotus. It's been gelded and returning over the shorter distance of his best, but I think the freshness side with the pace on, he might be able to run out and pinch it in a straight. Eight global domination looks the leader in the race. With the rail out six meters being on pace, might be the place to be, and he might be able to lead all the way and pinch it. Race eight over the 1800 meters, my numbers are 10, 1, and 5. 10 Foreign Prince looks to get an uncontested lead here. With Jess Taylor on board, gets down to 51 kilos. I think he can run out the 1800 and just win, so he goes in his top selection. One, Great Wood is the best horse in the race, and even with the claim, still has to carry 59 kilos. He's won twice at the track, once at the distance. He's good enough to win on Saturday and goes in as well. Five, Orbeck is a sneaky one in this league. Went up $101, which I don't think is right. Obviously, he's going to be better over further, but someone paid a lot of money for this horse and to bring him here. Might have the freshness to win on Saturday, and Johnny Thompson's a bit of a shonk, so you never know with him. On the turn, 500 out, Fearless, Pride and My Axman together, a length and a half, Lawman, Kingston Town can't win. Grover and Kingston Town flashing, he might win yet the champ. Grover took the lead off, Kingston Town swapping them, what a run, Kingston Town wins it and to Grover. The can't win file this weekend comes up at race two at Rose Hill, number two, Astronomus. Look, this horse might end up in group company at the end of the preparation, but he's 2,000 metres back to 1,500 and gets from a heavy track to a good track, which he hasn't won on yet. His targets are further in the preparation. He can't win on Saturday. We will be very, very angry with you, and we will write you a letter telling you how angry we are. Dear Michael Clark, you retire on the day that England retain the Ashes. How selfish are you, mate? The timing of it's all wrong, buddy. You should let them have their moment in the sun. The time wasn't to do that after they just reclaimed the ashes, Peanut. The rock and rangy rang do is joining in on the outside. Is it his day to day? It's road to rock and rangy rang do fighting it out. Rangy rang do on the outside is in front and rangy rang do gets his group one. 